Hey everyone, this is Nitin here. I hope your paintings are going great. You are learning, you are improving with your watercolor. And uh, my best wishes, uh, uh, you know, uh, with your watercolor art journey. So I hope uh, uh, you have been doing a lot of watercolor art. Uh, you you uh, are just getting a lot of, uh, you know, the messages and the requests for several uh, you know uh, the several tutorial which you feel uh, I should make a video of it so I have taken a, one of the requests from uh, one of my subscriber and uh, uh, and uh, the reason I took that subject because I, I felt uh, uh, this specific subject is uh, really important for many beginners uh, so the subject uh, which I am covering uh, tonight uh, is uh, how to become a sketcher so even going you know uh, the second level of doing uh, <clears throat> uh, water coloring but first you have to be you know very much uh, <clears throat> i'm sorry uh, you need to be very much confident about your sketching and how about if you're going outside and uh, in your uh, you know uh, the while traveling or wherever you are and you feel like you have a substantial time to spend doing some sketches like you know, take an example you're going to your office and uh, uh, you are in a car or you you are just uh, going by some other you're not driving but you're just uh, sitting idle so you have to do something right so uh, so you have to do something you have to start doing sketching so how cool it is like uh, you're traveling you're going somewhere and uh, you are sketching something you are sketching someone who is just front of you or any inspiration you are just seeing in just front of your eyes and you want to make that uh, you know you want to take that impression into your uh, you know sketchbook so that this uh, this demo is all about that how to be uh, you know how to be a successful sketcher uh, and every uh, tutorial i've been telling uh, all of you that uh, going to the watercolor is uh, uh, is absolutely a one way uh, is uh, you should be very much familiar about uh, the composition the sketching and all of those so so this uh, uh, this demo is all about that guys so let's go ahead uh, and uh, uh, I hope uh, this demo will add a lot many values to your uh, uh, watercolor journey or sketching you might be heard about a lot of initiative from the sketching sketcher groups uh, might be in your town in your local area there are several sketcher uh, sketching groups so you can join and you can bring that ability so without wasting so much of time let's go ahead and uh, i'll make uh, uh, a some inspiration for you you guys so what i'm going to do is uh, let's assume that uh, i'm just traveling in fact uh, i'm just recalling of the one of the uh, you know uh, one of the instance uh, where i visited uh, this last weekend and i saw some of the uh, you know uh, some of the local people who's just carrying some uh, some stuff some boxes on the head on their head and uh, yeah, yeah it's just like in a crowded uh, uh, you know um, uh, the path so that kind of environment uh, i'm just recalling it so uh, what you need to uh, do here is uh, you need to be very much uh, you know the uh, fast so uh, before that i'm just uh, using this uh, 0 0.4 uh, uh, you know this uh, ink pen uh, which is a waterproof and uh, i'm using the sketchbook uh, so this paper is uh, fairly good uh, uh, especially i mean if you want to do sketching and top of it if you want to do a little bit of coloring in it so this paper can resist that so that's a pretty cool for uh, for your vertical sketch so yeah so uh, so when you are doing all of this so you have to be you know so just See that what exactly is happening in front of you and uh, if you can call out those uh, those moment that will be that will be really cool so here this one guy uh, who's 
it's just uh, you know carrying one box so you don't need to be very much uh, uh, you know a deep work uh, it's just kind of an impression you want to bring in so this guy one is carrying one box and there is another box here so I want you to take a uh, uh, look at the the kind of strokes I'm making here and the kind of uh, the story I wanted to build so this is the head you need to be a little <clears throat> fast because uh, uh, the the ambience will not be still that's like on a, every time every time this whole environment and the surrounding will, will get changed right so you need to capture some of the things that you need to remember it so there's the one guy who's just got uh, who's holding the this bag and the box there's another one there's another guy who is also doing the same thing just behind that the behind of this this guy and he is, is also And uh, you can uh, you can just bring those entire story if uh, there are some more bring that here. So now you look at this. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not giving any detail of it. It's, I'm just keep saying that you know uh, you just need to establish the character kind of impression of that place that uh, uh, that surrounding uh, you really don't need to go and keep the detailing that detailing is a different level probably you should not do that you have to do it but uh, if you are doing a uh, kind of or you are going on the field and you you really don't have those details you just need a little bits that's the thing so, 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 that guy now uh, maybe you can just sing some architecture some building all around if you can see and uh, there is uh, some electric pole and all of that and the saddle so basically uh, I'm assuming that the the light the source of light is coming from from this angle so this the shade of this entire thing so we'll go in this this side right and uh, here so yeah so this is kind of uh, the story uh, you know you are built so let's assume that uh, you are you're you're visiting the, some some place and you have captured uh, this entire uh, entire set as a, as a sketch. How interesting it is, isn't it? Like uh, you have captured this. Now the thing is, like you, know, you also wanted to paint. So there are several paint uh, available, which is a pocket size uh, paint pop paint box, which you can use it. It comes in a uh, in a in a bank in ink pen and all of that I have, though I have not never used that uh, but uh, I've seen that many people are using it so 
you can definitely you can use that but at this moment i will be using a just a generic my color palette so i will just go ahead uh, with this color palette uh, So I'm using this ultramarine blue and mixing with uh, sepia. So here uh, in this one, this is not a very conventional watercolor. This is like a more like a watercolor sketch. So my the strategy will be slightly different uh, because uh, my most of the uh, you know the shapes have been defined by the lines. So half of the things are, you know, uh, your job get, uh, you know, it gets easy. So you really don't need to spend much time to figuring out and, uh, you know, uh, giving a lot of uh, prominence on the, what exactly your, uh, you know, where your focal point would be and all of that. So it just basically you just pick the color and wherever you want to make a, you know, color, you can just pull that. So in this case, I'm... This is the, the other building, other side of the building. Okay, so your first layer is done with that. Now we have to work on this people. So I'm just taking this uh, orange and uh, mixing with some other colors, I'm using this ultramarine blue. And here I'm just using this hydrogen blue. And uh, here I'm using this yellow ochre. Sepia and uh, so basically, you'll have to see that uh, uh, the the kind of uh, the ambience and the kind of uh, uh, the object you are you are seeing there. So you just try to see that how many colors and what is the set of the colors you are seeing, and uh, just follow that. What exactly it is so there'll, there'll be a several color but you really don't need to take all of those just see that what all those what all those among of all what all those color which gives your personality to your painting just stick to that you really don't need to see it because there will be a lot of uh, color which will makes you confused so don't get into that trap your own assumption and your perception should also plays a very important role. And 
and here it is. And the shadow. I always enjoy whenever I go out and I always look for an opportunity to paint uh, if if not painting or uh, watercolor but at least uh, you know um, the sketching so that gives me a, a lot of energy and uh, I feel really good I feel really good I mean when you paint something a place where you're visiting and you're painting you're just capturing that that place so it's a really beautiful feeling so and, uh, this is so now these colors are got dried so now you can just apply for a little bit of uh, the second layer so just small small patches but again as I said no need to go for enough much detail but just the impression just uh, a little bit of work So it's more like uh, the proper amount of depth and light that actually gives you a lot of uh, learning and basically you have to concentrate only that when you're working outside these all the basic principle just stick with uh, the proper light how the light is falling learn from them so yeah I mean so you really don't need too much here you should be fine with this Now, just some bit of okay. So I think uh, we should we should go with this. Just a little bit of a few want you can make this uh, wire and all of that those thing you can just make that little bit of it and uh, yeah we are pretty good so give your signature so <laughs> I just forgot what is the date today uh, I think uh, today is uh, 
six. All right, so I hope you have got something from this. Um, so all I wanted to communicate uh, from this sketch is whenever you're going out uh, and uh, you want to you know, explore your creativity, uh, not only the uh, creativity, but also the place, uh, uh, it's really, it's really uh, you know, gives you a lot of pleasure when you spend half an hour or 15 minutes to do such kind of work uh, in your sketchbook, uh, make a repository, make a, the entire set of, uh, you know, such kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the sketchbook and make a lot of art. So it gives you a lot of flexibility, you know, uh, so when you are trying to learn watercolor, such kind of work gives, me, uh, gives you a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of uh, idea where, uh, idea about uh, the proper amount of uh, you know uh, the lights and the seeds and the overall compositions that gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of learning so I would uh, suggest you to please uh, you know stick to this uh, even before going to the learning watercolor I mean you can just do that but uh, uh, you have to do all of this also uh, and, I, and I'm sure that uh, uh, there will be a time when you will see that improvement in your in your uh, in your vertical art. So yeah, uh, so I hope uh, you got something. Uh, thank you so much for joining tonight, uh, all of you. If you have any question, you can uh, you can ask me now. I'll be if possible, I'll be able to answer any of your query. So meanwhile, if you are um, uh, new to my channel, then I would uh, I would uh, request you to please subscribe my channel, and uh, you know, just don't forget to click on the bell icon. So the bell icon as gives you uh, um, the notification whenever I come, uh, you know, live. And most of the time I go live, I come on, uh, you know, live and do such, uh, um, you know, uh, this session. So that will give you a, uh, the notification. So in case if you want to, you know, uh, go ahead with a um, high level of, uh, you know, learning watercolor, especially uh, for the beginners or semi-advanced learner, uh, I have uh, I have my watercolor class in Skillshare. Uh, I will provide the link in uh, video description. You can just. Uh, uh, go and see my class, uh, uh, enroll in my class, um, and uh, I hope uh, you will be on this, you will be getting a lot of ideas and a lot of learning uh, in my skills at class. I'll be coming with, I'm coming up uh, with uh, a lot of interesting uh, watercolor classes in my class. So please visit my, this is the one of the, uh, you know, uh, one of the uh, the work which is just super easy uh, I have crafted in a such a way that uh, you will be able to uh, you know make a paint uh, uh, in a incrementally uh, you know more, uh, the value added learning uh, in your uh, watercolor journey so you will be learning all of this and this is a super easy to paint so yeah so there's the one class there is another class uh, that also you can join and uh, as I said, I'll be adding us a lot many other classes. So thank you so much everyone uh, joining tonight. And uh, uh, please take care of yourself. Do a lot of watercolor art. Do, make a lot of sketches like this. And uh, just have fun and enjoy the entire process. Even if you are not, uh, you know, if you see that uh, there is a there's a very low improvement in your watercolor, but uh, don't get uh, hesitate to just keep trying, keep trying. Uh, I hope, uh, and, and I'm not hoping, but uh, I believe, uh, I, I believe in that uh, a certain practice will take you in a different level. So thank you everyone and good night. And uh, we'll come up with a new video very soon. Bye bye.